What is up, fellas? BJ Simmons and the boys, dorm room, senior year, year four, impact player at the moment. Totally got screwed out of a Heisman opportunity last season. Our uh, wide receiver on this Iowa team, even though uh, it takes the quarterback to pass the balls to him, ends up winning the Heisman. But there you go, usual suspect, because, well, deja vu, fellas. We got another wide receiver this season that is now leading the Heisman race instead of BJ Simmons. And if you want to look at the stat, go ahead. 2,390 all-purpose yards, 28 total touchdowns. It's been roughly eight games or so, so don't get me wrong. Very, very good season. But this isn't just Mac Jones shit at Alabama and Devontae Smith and company winning the Heisman. But also, too, B.J. Simmons is doing a lot of shit that is not only going to this wide receiver. He's got 36 touchdowns, mind you, 20 are to this wide receiver. Still has 3,000 yards. But he also has 1,400 rushing yards, 28 touchdowns on the ground. So, yeah, do the math. This man already has, what, 62 total touchdowns on the season. Compared to a measly 35 total touchdowns, I don't know how he moved back up. That Penn State quarterback, terrible game against Iowa. You got right there. Quarterback number 16 at FSU. And then an undefeated Oklahoma team. This is actually their starting quarterback for this season compared to, I believe, it was Sam Bradford last time around where we won the national championship back-to-back. Hi, BJ. The team rallies around your leadership. You are vital to the success of the team. Remember that you are out there. When you are out there, one big play from you can spark the entire team. Thank you. I appreciate it. But we already know this shit. So, yes, it's been nine games. Oh, yeah, sorry. Not eight games with 62 total touchdowns, but nine games. A-plus overall team, even though the offense and defense are not even A-plus either one of them. But, okay. But 64 total touchdowns. Wait, well, yeah. 64. I guess what? It's 36 touchdown passes? I don't know. I don't know. 64 total touchdowns by BJ Simmons. Usual suspects here at commentating. Brad Nessler. Kirk Herbstreit. Lee Corso, 9 0 against a 7 0 Wisconsin team. This is more. I saw Wisconsin, Penn State play this past week to where I believe Penn State won the game, if I'm correct. It's usually this time. This is the usual time. And I've been using the word usual. Usually, throughout the entire video, just to start it off. But this is usually the uh, top 10 time for the Big Ten. You start seeing the likes of Ohio State, maybe Michigan, but Michigan really hasn't been top 10, ironically, consistently since uh, the, around this game with Chad Henney and Mike Hart before they lost to Appalachian State. And that pretty much has made them not the same as it normally is at the University of Michigan, but Wisconsin 7-0. Here in Iowa against B.J. Simmons and the boys, right outside linebacker number 42 for Iowa. Easily the highest rated defensive player in the country. He's been there through all four years. He was a freshman redshirt. More so the recruit Benson, Marcus Benson, at middle linebacker has gotten most of the attention. Won the uh, Bednarik Award as well. Um, but really, I mean, just been fortunate that a 99 overall player is going to stay his junior year and that's what a uh, right outside linebacker number 42 is but hey the man of the hour is BJ boys I know this is at home against this Wisconsin team pretty decent return right there by wide receiver number 10 to start off the game and uh by the looks of it, this Wisconsin team always likes to run the ball but at the same time the one thing they usually kick our ass on is through the air and here on first and 10 Pretty much one of the best teams in the country at home, but that's just by default considering you're going to win most of your games at home. And there you go. There I said it. There's your impact player. It's not even the running back team. Wide receiver number 84. Breaks a tackle. Poor play. And funny enough, this team actually has, what, four? The whole entire secondary is in the Thorpe Award running. And it's going to be seven to zip already after getting owned. And honestly, it was a sick-ass play considering how good of the players he did it against. First play of the game from scrimmage for this Iowa offense. Mr. McCray, he's a true freshman running back, gets the pit by B.J. Simmons. B.J. Simmons definitely getting the pressure felt. This Wisconsin team is kicking ass. Number country, though, 57% on third down conversions. But this time, it's not going to add to that. It's going to be more so to the 43% that was to get it done on third down. Four sacks on the season now by this man. I was looking for a penalty. Just because I'm a bitch. But nothing happening. That's what I get. This Wisconsin team is off to one hell of a start. 
And we're gonna take another look since it's gonna be like a minute long highlight. Two sacks on the day so far by this left end, number 59. And it's still seven to zero. Fumble on the play, going to be picked up by the offense though. Third and six later on in the drive. Quarterback number 16 is gonna back it up. Does he get sacked on this play? No, he doesn't. It's wide receiver 10. He's now got two wide receivers in a Wisconsin offense that are the impact players. And there you go. That's the star player for you. Wide receiver number came off against the number one team in the country. This is the team that's looking for a three-peat. This is basically the Clemson type situation to where you have easily the best team in the country. And Wisconsin's just going to come in here and try to fuck our shit up. But there you go. Nice little moment. Have last minute. Mr. McBride with the pride. Mr. McBride. Getting a blocked extra point for this Iowa team. So maybe that garners a little bit of attention for this Iowa offense to get their shit together. So second and 12, B.J. Simmons gets absolutely slaughtered by Mr. White. And then you're ahead of it. Just another slow-ass start for this Iowa team against Wisconsin. Again, we haven't seen the slowest of starts. Um, we have in the past with Iowa, like, you know, when we had that amazing comeback against the Fighting Illini. That's our Heisman hopeful right there at wide receiver. I mean, let's be honest, though. I'm going to be a bitch about him not being in position right now for um, the Heisman. You never know how it's going to be at the end of the season. Most of the year was spent with him at one spot. You know, that's kind of the case when you have 70 total fucking touchdowns. Or you're just on pace for that the entire year. Um, but now, B.J. Simmons is on the grounds where he did a lot of dirty work. And nice little play right there. So two consecutive plays, at least like 20 yards or so. Nice little 20-yard run. 13-0 to zero. still, of course, haven't scored. Pass to Mr. McCray. And he's actually done this out for a dude like a, more of a power back. He actually catches the ball pretty well. Disappeared on that play, at least after the catch. And B.J. Simmons just make that four sacks on the day. This team is just coming after him. This offensive line. Oh, no, make that five sacks. Sorry. Five sacks on the day. Offensive line has just gone to absolute shambles. And then... Incomplete pass right there on fourth down. What are we going to do now? We're at the 33-yard line. I really don't trust a freshman kicker to get this done. But B.J. Simmons is going to toss it out. It's going to be a touchdown. Use a catch to wide receiver number 89. I'd have to say he probably is the best wide receiver in the country. And no, it's not quite in TDs, you Iowa fan. Fuck. Jesus. 13-7, to man. Don't be fucking showing that shit. But there you it's also, too, it just reminds me of, like, seeing that sign. Reminds you when the dudes be, like, showboating on, like, a pick six or something or, like, a fumble recovery. And you're already winning by 40 points at that point, and you're like, you're a fuck. That's just, just no other way to say it. You're a fuck. 13 to 7 now. I was got the ball yet again. Wide receiver number 9. Not much said about him lately. But on third and inches, terrible play ball. It's going to actually lead. The fourth and down. They ran a quarterback power or something along those lines. But hey, it is what it is. Down for this Wisconsin team. Not much having on that drive. 13-7 to seven now. And then a pass down. Terrible judgment by B.J. Simmons. Wide receiver number 89, though. You can tack a tackle to his stats for the season. For his Heisman hopeful stats. And Wisconsin back seed up by six out on the road against this Iowa team. So make that, what? Sacks on the day. One interception now by Mr. Fields. Just holding all sorts of passes by Mr. B.J. Simmons. And it's going to Wisconsin ball. Third and eight later on for this drive for Wisconsin. Are they going to be able to get the first down? Just on an interception by Mr. Benson. That's the man I was talking about. He's the reason why wide right outside linebacker 42 probably didn't get a lot of talk. A lot of tackles going from that man's way. And he's on, honestly done quite well in coverage in the middle of the field for those cover threes and cover fours and stuff in the dime and nickel. And it's led to a lot of opportunities like this shit right here by B.J. Simmons. Big play up on the horizon. Nice little move. It's going to easily be 20 yards on the play. Third and 10 later on in the drive. What's B.J. Simmons going to do? Terrible play, but again, hey, just trying to trust the best player on the field besides B.J. Simmons, of course. And then there you go. Frederick's going to nail that one in. So 13 to 10. We just, hey, that's the importance of blocking those uh, extra points. Nice catch right there by wide receiver number 84. I'm pretty sure he would have been off of the races had he not stepped out of second and 15 later on in the drive. Constantly wraps it out, and what a pick. This is one of the best pick artists in the country, and it's going to lead to a pick six. What a way to get momentum. Again, like I said, all the starters are in the Thorpe Award um, race right now for award semifinalists. That dude already has, what, six or seven interceptions on the season. 
which is stellar. Those are great stats, if, even if you're Champ Bailey and the pros and whatnot. Jesus Christ, James Wall going through the dudes like that. Nice broken tackle. Third and eight later on. It's a drug. bad play call, in my opinion. And it's going to lead to Mr. Thorpe, front runner. The man had a pick six just a second ago. And now he's getting a nice first down saving tackle. B.J. Simmons throws it out. That will be on first down. Second and two later on in the drive. And it's going to be passed right there. I mean, honestly, it's a lot of big passes. B.J. Simmons gotten better at just taking that gives him. And speaking of, nice play right there to wide receiver number nine. Just gets absolutely mauled on in five. But after the damage was done, wide receiver number 82 was wide open on that one. But wide receiver number nine, he is, he does seem our best wide receiver when it comes to one-on-one. -on -one and he's doing toe drag catches in the end zone. I will take a penalty because that, <clears throat> what, we're up now by what should be two possessions, 152 yards through the air, so on pace for another 300-yard game for B.J. Simmons. Imagine he's on pace for what, like another touchdown or two on the ground, and he's going to try to, yep, breaks the tackle. This You can't stop this, dude. You can't, you can't stop, dude. And what a move right there to shed the defensive end. The right end on this defense is going to left end doing the damage. Nice play. I thought that cornerback was going to sneak in last minute. But about five minutes left here in the third quarter. B.J. Simmons now going to run on that. Oh, Jesus Christ. McCray is going to take the hit. And, uh, well, he's still alive for some reason. B.J. Simmons backing it up. It's going to be a pass out to wide receiver number nine. Make that now, what, two total touchdown catches by wide receiver number nine. Hasn't been a huge game by 89 by any means. But there you go. Nebraska was undefeated, 9-0. and Lost to Mizzou. Lost to Mizzou at home in Lincoln, Nebraska. So, the Sea of Red uh, is going to be filled with Cornhusker blood because uh, there's no reason you should be losing to Missouri at home like that. 31-13 to now. Nice little play right there to Mr. Kenny Powers. Tied in for Wisconsin. 4-18 left in this one. Big play. That I, I mean, either dude's just going to get fucked up. If that's a play action or if that's just a straight-up run, half action is not getting much done. Fumble on the play. Going to be recovered by Mr. Alford. And Mr. Alford, I believe, as the nickelback, he is still in the running for the Thorpe. He's going to win it. He's not one of the starters on this defense, but Jesus Christ, B.J. Simmons. Just the amount of pressure. There shouldn't be four dudes. On this is the number one team in the country. There shouldn't be four dudes running around and then bam. You're not going to catch up to him. The bitch. He wraps it around. Bit of an audible of his own. Decides to not speed off and decides to run a quarterback sweep the opposite direction. And it pays off. The man's got great intuition. Uh, just to let you uh, NFL scouts know, especially in Madden NFL 08. But B.J. Simmons, I mean, I think he's the best player in the country. Been kicking ass, smoking grass, but he hasn't been tested for it. So we're good. Oh, wide receiver number 10. Is it going to be a big play right here on this one? Yeah, it's going to be a big hit by Mr. Danny McBride. And it's going to be Iowa football again. 30-13 to 13 play action. It's going to be a play action strike. Mr. Norton, here's a who wide open in the corner. Just how we drew it up, baby. And it's going to be a nice touchdown pass. Make that four touchdown passes today by B.J. Simmons. It was a struggle to start off this game, but it has been nice and sweet since the initial bitterness to start off the game. Number one tied in the country, Mr. Norton. Got the number one wide receiver in the country. Probably the number one defense player in the country at both the cornerback position and linebacker positions. And I think we may have the best defensive lineman in the country with 17 on the season as well. This is arguably the Bama-esque type Iowa team. It's starting to show it was a slow run. Usually Bama beats the shit out of you from the get but this team's way too talented. Whole penalty now, 35. It's just going to lead to a declined penalty after it wasn't a uh, successful third down conversion for that Wisconsin team. 79 rushing yards on the day. Again, he's been sacked about eight times. So uh, give our team a break. We've had a couple of making up those yards on the ground later on. And B.J. Simmons, big pass out to wide receiver number 89. Beautiful. Could have been picked off, but it just wasn't played very well by both the cornerback and the safety right there to take off the coverage. And it's uh, going to be our benefit as we're marching down the field yet again. 45 to 13. That's 45 unanswered points. And then what's what's a, what, 
first and goal from like the one yard line and there you go another team ends up losing West Virginia ends up losing to you I don't care if it's in Connecticut I don't care if it's fucking Iceland Greenland you're not you should not be losing that game to UConn Jordan Todman's not even there yet, so I don't know what the fuck that's about but Pat White and the boys don't have done probably Geno Smith at this point and then a first down by Wisconsin not much happened so far for this team after that 13 and oh start fourth down yep, excuse me and it's going to lead to oh there you go a mr johnson play i'm just cutting ahead uh, beautiful touchdown right there by mr johnson should lead to a 58 to 13 score so 58 straight unanswered point pass interference by the offense but we don't get oh no they called it on johnson what they pointed literally to the fucking end zone this too but come on man we just had 52 unanswered points. We're beating the living shit out of them. Just give them mercy. And then a pass out. It's going to lead to a big play right here by Wisconsin's wide receiver, number two. And it's just a little bit too good. The angle wasn't good. And honestly, the diving should have been better in these games. You should be able to have like a huge diving leap. But it is what it is. 52 to 20. B.J. Simmons later on in the game. One last little fuck you. Get the first down right there. And let the clock run out. 52 to 20. Remember, before that one touchdown, it was 52 to 0. After it started off 13 to nothing, number 6. I mean, he had us flipped over thinking this game's going to be a little bit different than usual. No. It's always a little bit of a tease when you wear that jersey number. Just comes with the territory. And it's going to be a nice win for Iowa. Number one team in the country looking to run undefeated to head into an opportunity for a three-peat. 10 and 0, Iowa. BJ Simmons adding on to the streak. As always, fellas, take it easy. See y'all next time.